Mr. P's Science and Math Podcasts. For more science and math concepts, search me out on iTunes by typing Papa Podcasts. You can contact me at Mr. P. Lieberman at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. Multiplying binomials. Whenever we're multiplying binomials, we usually form a trinomial, depending on the type of terms that we created. Now, in terms of multiplying binomials, binomials means two terms. And each term, as we've uh, stated in a previous lesson, um, are separated by either addition or subtraction sign. Here's an example of a set of binomials that we're going to multiply together. 2x plus 5 x minus 4. Now, here we have two sets of binomials. We have first term, 2x, our second term, plus 5. In our next bracket, we have x followed by negative 4. So in terms of whenever we're multiplying binomials, we do something called FOIL. FOIL, or the letters for FOIL, stands for first with the first, outer, inner, with the last. And so we multiply them in that specific order. First with first, first with outer. Inners, then the inner with the last. And that's what we do when we're multiplying binomials. So let's expand that. 2x multiplied by x will give us 2x squared. 2x multiplied by negative 4 will give me negative 8x. Positive 5 multiplied by x will give me a positive 5x. And lastly, positive 5 multiplied by negative 4 gives me negative 20. Now notice when I did multiply, I took into, into account not just the plus or the 5 or just the 4, but I also took into account the sign that goes in front of those numbers. And the sign that's in front of the 2x is really a positive. The sign in front of this x is also positive. So we know that anytime we're multiplying two positives together, we will always get uh, a positive value. But the one thing to keep in mind is whenever we have a negative for our sign, we treat this negative with this number. So it's not just minus 4 and we treat it just as a 4, but when we're multiplying this positive 5, we're multiplying this positive 5 with negative 4 to give us this negative 20. Now, oftentimes when we are multiplying binomials, this middle term okay, usually can be simplified even further. How do we know when we're looking at Well, we're looking to see is this first term of our binomial a like term with this term. Is this term of the binomial a like term with that? And if they are, then this middle term will be simplified. So we have here 2x squared. There are no other like terms in this expression. So we just keep 2x squared. This negative 20, there are no other like terms with the negative 20. So we keep the negative 20 as is. The only thing that's left is a negative 5x and notice how I'm treating the negative or the minus 8x with the as a negative. So we have negative 8x plus 5x which will give us a simplified value of minus 3x. So therefore when we are multiplying binomials and we multiply these two binomials together this is the term we get or the expression we get as our final answer. Keep in mind that when we are multiplying binomials 
that do have a similar first terms that are are like one another and the second term are like with one another we will create a polynomial called a trinomial. 